right, let's see if third time's a charm. Switched out memory cards. Having a hard time here. Here's the ice shack. There's my beer rack. When you get there, get utility rack for stuff. Um, got flaps on each side, made out of rubber roofing. Keep wind and snow from getting blown in your hole. Uh, I got it jacked up eight inches with four by fours with cross country skis along the whole thing. Push this with my hand like nothing. All right, so inside I've got a window on each side with uh, curtains made out of rubber roofing and the things that you use for shower curtains, an air vent on each side, um, cup holders all around the place. Ice fishing rod rack. Got five of them there. I usually have four poles in here. Got my homemade ice spud. Nice fat one. It uh, makes a quick job. It's really heavy, but young. Um, got a cabinet up here. I switched the doors so that they both open to the right. Built a shelf next to it. Um, Got a shelf in the center here with a lip. I like to put my Vexlar there and any extra stuff I've got. Got a quick measure for when we're catching white fish and walleye. Make sure we're 15 inches. Um, hooks all around the place for coats and what else not. Um, shelf up here, I usually keep my tackle boxes. Um, got my big, big skimmer, really really makes a quick job. Um, usually just put it in a five gallon bucket and then throw it out the door. Got my beer dispenser. Works really nice. Beers don't get frozen there and keeps the beers off the floor and obviously easily accessible. Um, my favorite part is I've got my bench that folds up and folds down. Uh, I can sit two people. I usually I'm in here by myself most of the time, but can fit somebody else. Or you got a lot of extra space for tackle boxes and stuff. Um, pole covers. This one just comes off. I usually just put it outside when I got somebody else with me, and they usually sit here. Um, big Coleman chair. This one. Ugh. This one's got a nice footrest on it. Just a half inch rubber on it. Really keeps your feet away from the cold. This floor is insulated, but keeps your feet away from the cold even more and uh, makes it really comfortable to sit up here. I've got a rod holder right there. Um, my double propane stove. Turn both burners on for a minute. You gotta shut them right off or crack that window. This, this window here does open up. Um, I've got a rattling um, tip up or whatever you want to call it, rattle wheel. Use that for white fish or really anything, I guess. Put that in the other hole or if I go out for a minute to go see Al or something or Gary, then I stick it down the hole. Um, got my bumper jack for later in the year when the ice starts melting and refreezing. Um, I start putting blocks underneath here as the ice raises up so I don't get frozen in. Tip ups all over for when it's a busy day and I got a lot of people and we want to catch a lot of fish. Um, other than that, I think I've fished four people in here. Or no, I should I fish I should or fished five people in here. Um, four is comfortable. Chair there, chair there, chair there. And yeah, it's really easy to maintain. Um, it's three years old. The floor is getting a little bit 
ripped up the paint it's getting scraped off a little bit where the high traffic area is here by the door i'm going to repaint that after this year other than that everything's made out of cedar um two inch insulation on the ceiling floor one inch on all the walls foil back um yeah we got a two by six here and then two by two two by three two by two two by three the walls are made out all two by two except for the center supports um and where my chair is here i've got two by fours for my bench um really light for how big it is most guys shacks weigh a ton other than that uh yeah so that's the inside of the shack if you got anything else let me know